Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Ayats Robin and I am an immigration lawyer with the Sterling Law Firm here in London, United Kingdom. First and foremost, to recent graduates, we at the Sterling Law Firm would like to extend our sincere congratulations for your achievement, hard work and resilience through the testing times the pandemic put us all through. With that being said, I am more than excited to say that there is always sunshine after the storm. And the sunshine in this case is the creation of a new visa category route called the High Potential Individual Visa. The new High Potential Individual Visa is aimed at highly skilled and academically elite migrants that are looking to explore their opportunities in the UK. So one of the requirements being is that you graduated from a top global ranked university. These lists of the universities recognized by home office have been published and we will include a link down below for you to check whether university has been listed. So the main advantage of this visa category is that you're not required to have a job offer, making it very flexible for you to come look for a job, switch between employers, and even setting up your own business if that's what you desire. So now regarding the formal requirements for this visa, visa category. So although they have not launched it yet and they will be providing further details on this visa upon launching it, this is what Home Office has mentioned so far, that there are three main requirements. So the first requirement is obviously the most important one, is that your university is listed in the list that is provided by Home Office. So the list that is provided is what they determine being one of the globally ranked. Um, and on the date of application, you need to have graduated within that five years immediately before date of application. So this does open to graduates who've graduated in 2020, 2019, um, and each year has a different list. So please be mindful as well when you are looking through these lists that you're looking at the year you graduated. As for the second requirement is the English requirements. So if you're coming from a country that is not dominantly English speaking, you will need to prove that you have um, English language capacity at the minimum of a level B1. However, they do make mention that if you if you had studied at UK in UK at some previous time doing your GCSEs or your A levels, that that could also be considered for your English requirement. Um, as for the third requirement, is the financial. So for the financial requirement, they require that you show that you have at least one thousand two hundred seventy pounds in your account at the date of application. And this value must have been in your account for at least 28 days. So please bear in mind, if you were to transfer a day before application, that would pose an issue. So as you can already tell from now, this visa so far is seeming to be a rather straightforward visa. Um, of course, all of this will need to be reconfirmed once the rules are actually released on the 30th of May. Um, but regardless, it is something for you to consider, to look into and familiarize yourself with as it is a very advantageous route. Um, if you are successful in um, the application process, you'll be granted a visa of two year time frame for you to find a job or set up your business or switch to different visa categories. Um, but there's something to know as well is that if you had graduated with a PhD, that will give you a three year visa rather than two years. In conclusion, although it does seem as a very simple and straightforward visa category as we speak right now, please know that this is also only going off of the brief information that Home Office has made available. Um, further detailed rules, regulations and requirements will only be released after they launch the route on the 30th of May. So if you would like to stay informed and would like a follow up video on a more detailed take on this visa category, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have any questions at the current time, do not hesitate to contact myself or the team at Sterling Law Firm. Thank you once again for staying tuned into this video and I hope you found it helpful.